So, today, I'm going to show you guys all of my Apple products, including the iPhone 5C, the 5S, AirPods, 8 Plus, and of course, the Apple Watch. If you guys did not watch yesterday's unboxing video, I was, I got the Apple Watch. So yeah, very exciting. Um, I love it already. Um, so yeah. And also, I only have two of the boxes, AirPods and the A+. So, um, we're going to go ahead and show you guys the inside of the A+, box. If you guys are new to the channel, I am able, not able to get it out. Dang it! I'm on. I was at it. I'm on blades. It likes to play a game, but it doesn't like to come out. <laughs> um, there we go. So, get the whole stuff and everything still inside its cradle. With the um, quick start guide, the warranty information, the thing for the SIM injection tool, which is actually inside here. You guys can hear it. Um... Oh no, it's just part to the um, service. But the I put the um, the sim tool, the sim injection tool inside a little bag inside of one of our cabinets, so it doesn't get loose, so it doesn't get lost. And then of course you have your um, quick start guide. Um, shows you how to work everything. Of course on the right side, no longer on the top, like. Right here, you see that? Not on the top, but it's on the side. It has 3D touch, touch ID, everything. And then I still have one more Apple sticker left, so. Then warranty information, it's not my main concern right now, because, um, yeah. Uh, sorry, put a warranty on it. Um, so. What's that? Oh, I put it on the wrong side. Always. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and also um, while we're at it with the boxes, we have AirPods box. Um, these are actual. This is the actual thing. Does. Yeah. I also had a little instruction book that I don't know where that went off to. So, all right, so um. The other two phones I don't have anymore is my iPhone 4 and the iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 is actually with my brother because I gave it to him because I got an A+. Now, the iPhone 4 was actually my first iPhone. Um... It had iOS 7.1.2 was the final update. I think it might have went more upwards with the iOS updates. I'm not for sure, but yeah. Um, and that was my main, that was my first main phone I've ever had. It's just I didn't have the money to pay for the service. Yeah, um, because back th that was like a very, very, that was like a very old phone, and yeah, so actually one of my friends at church gave me that one, um, because they had that one before, um, so it was, it was a pretty awesome phone, I was able to text, FaceTime some of my friends, and then it shattered, it was no longer thing to me um so yeah all right and then going on um with my first iphone 5 the 5c this was a 16 gig model one of my friends gave this to me that i've known for a very long time um this was a 32 gig model um 5c it was installed with ios 10 um the last thing I know of, um, 
it's just you can see trying to Try to see how I can get the screen open. Oh, oh it just had it. <laughs> Dang it! But yeah. But yeah, the screen's very loose. Um, it's popping out. Really, really bad. Oh, there we go. So you can see. It's popped out, which is not the best condition. Um, Cause look, you guys just see, it's coming out really bad. So, so this was probably the best phone I've ever had. Now, it still did the had the headphone jack and along with the lightning port. So yeah, next iPhone 5s. Now this was the first iPhone that I ever had with Touch ID. And this one was better. Um, if you can see, it's looking brand new, but the battery's having so much problems. Even Battery Plus Bulbs, which is a phone repair place, couldn't even replace a battery for it. It charged me almost $60 for it. But luckily, when I came back, well, sadly, when I came back over there to pick it up, they said, sorry, your phone we can't replace the battery for it. We tried everything. I'm like, you're kidding me, right? You're actually kidding me, right? <laughs> like, is there anything else you guys for me to do? Like, this had all of my information, literally everything, inside this phone. Luckily, I had Google Photos on this, so I have all my photos from this phone over to there. Thinking, eh? <laughs> so, but the one thing is contacts. That's one thing I don't all have. So, yeah. A little sad that I can't get all of my contacts back into this phone. Onto my new phone, at least. Um, so, yeah. But... Let's get on with our first accessory, and that is the Apple AirPod Series 1. Now, these AirPods I got off Facebook for $120. I was basically saving enough, I was basically saving money because the original ones cost about $160 around that price. I think so. I don't know. Um, but yeah. These came out before, I think. After the iPhone 7. Or I think so. I don't know. Hey Siri. When did the I AirPods came out? Apple.com should be able to help you with that. Hey Siri, when did the first generation AirPods release? Okay, I found this on the web for when did the first generation AirPods release. See, even app, even my, I, even Siri can't even help me. But yeah. Um, let's go ahead and go to Google. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Since it's Monday, but well we're going to do that in a separate video. But yeah. Um so AirPods first gen. Sure. Trying to see when they came out. It came out December 13th, 2016. Wow. 
that was four years ago, guys. So, um, that was a pretty long time. So, uh, and then after that, about, I would say a couple of years ago, um, Apple released the second generation AirPods, but with a wireless charging case. Yes, guys. So Apple released AirPods with a wireless charging case, meaning you don't have to plug it in to your lightning cable. If you have a wireless charging pad for like your iOS, like not iOS, I'm sorry, your iPhone, iPhone 8 or later, what you bought, you can use your, you can charge your AirPods cases on them. Essentially, Apple hasn't really released the air power yet, which would thinking they were supposed to a couple of years ago but they didn't have a chance to do that yet or they just don't want to do it because of how big it is and then you still have one wire just connected to all three devices so like your iPhone, your iP your Apple Watch and then your AirPods. Um but yeah. And then next off the iPhone 8 Plus. This is my actual serviced iPhone. Um, because my iPhone 7 didn't have service. So, I was just using it as just like a normal iPhone and everything. La la la. So, I'm very happy to use this. Um, everything's very responsive. I love how the way, you know, everything is. And, yeah. So, I wanted to, um, feature this out. If you guys own a card a debit card or a credit card doesn't matter or if you want apply for a debit a credit card for Apple pay yes guys if you guys did not know this last I think it was some point last year Apple released the Apple card it's basically like a credit card and a debit card but the best part of it you can use it in your wallet app so. so this is um I'm gonna try to load my brightness down so you guys can actually see. So this is my card, my debit card. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm holding it like this is because I have my last four digits of my debit card showing on my phone, and I don't want you guys to see it. So, so if you guys have not know what Apple Pay is, basically, um, so if you go to like a store or a restaurant that accepts Apple Pay. You can use that. What you have to do is double tap on your home button at a store or a restaurant or anything. Double tap it and then if you have a iPhone 10 or later like iPhone 10 10s, 10x Max, 10R 11, 11 Pro, Pro Max, um, you can um, use Face ID to put in your, your um, Face ID to access um, Apple Pay. But if you have an iPhone 6, Success. Any iPhone that accepts Apple Pay um, that has Touch ID, all you have to do is double click on your home button and then you'll put it up to the car reader, scan your fingerprint, and then boom, you're done. You don't even need to hold your debit card. It's literally so simple to use, guys. And for the final product we have is the Apple Watch Series 1. This was from yesterday's video. 
I love it already. Um, they gave me plenty more bands. If you guys saw when I unboxed it, it came with it had the black band on. This is more of a sports band. And for yesterday's video, I do apologize in advance. I was not expecting all those words to come out. And when I say it's sports, I, I ask, if you guys heard yesterday, I accidentally said sports brawl, not sports band. I do apologize for that. I did not mean to say that. Um, but yeah. Um, so I guess that's going to do it for today's video. Um, hope you guys did enjoy. Um, so my iPhone 8 Plus, I just love it, guys. I really do love it. And you guys can tell they're literally the same height. Funny thing is, these both came out the same day. Which I was kind of surprising. And you guys can tell the... The, um... The main camera, the main Mexapixel iSight camera on this one is actually on the left side of the speaker, not on the top. Hello. Hang on, figure out. I don't know what that is. But the main camera, main um, 12 megapixel iSight camera is actually on the left side. Towards. You got your iPhone 5C and then the 5S are both on the top. Which is pretty crazy. So, I guess that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up. Not really, do not forget to leave a comment below. What is your most favorite Apple product out of any of these five ones I have to show you guys? And um, just to let you know, you go, just to let you guys know, yesterday um, iOS 13.6 did come out um, for any of you. Any of you has an iPhone of uh, 6s or later, you'll be getting that update. So without further ado, guys, hope you guys enjoy. And until next time, guys, say hi, have a great day, and I'll see y'all later in the next video. Peace out, Luigi's.